up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about all the latest updates that Google has released for Google Bard. Now, if you're like me and have been using Google Bard since it got released in March, I know many of us were not really impressed with what it could do. There were some really good features that Google kind of brought to what it brings with its ecosystem, but still it was really lagging behind when it compared to ChatGPT. Now, every week and every month that I've been using Google Bard, I can see that it's actually improving and it's getting better each time I use it. And now some of the features that Google released this week has been really impressive and kind of takes Google Bard to a little bit more closer to what ChatGPT can do. Let's see how it is and let's talk about these updates. Now one of the first updates is that now you can upload images alongside text in your conversations with Google Bard. Now here's an example where I've uploaded an image of you know the London Eye and I'm asking it to kind of tell me what it is about and it's predicted London Eye. And now I'm asking it within context say create an itinerary for me and my family and it knows that it's in London and it's created an itinerary for me which is really cool. In another example here I uploaded the poster of the Oppenheimer movie and then it's able to predict that this is a poster of the Oppenheimer movie which is really cool and within context I'm then asking it to predict hey what are the characters who are the actors and it's able to do that very nicely. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to also upload another image and this is basically a place in Iceland and Google Bard was not only able to predict it accurately it also now knows a lot about it. So when I asked what's special about this place it's actually giving suggestions on what this place is really known for which is really good. So within context bringing images that opens up lots more that we can do with now Bard. Another update that Google just released is this opportunity to change the format responses. Now here I've asked, okay, what is the greatest painting in the world? It produced a result, but now I can go and actually modify responses from, you know, shorter, longer. Basically, it gives you the ability to take a response that you've got and turn the type of format in. So not only are you getting the ability to get three different drafts, now you can actually change the, the format of the result that you have got. Another update is that now you can actually pin your chat so you can have them as a reference to different conversations that you've had with Google Bard, which is a pretty nifty feature. Now, another update is that Bard is now available in over 40 new languages and in different places around the world. What it also can now do is say you ask it a prompt in that specific language, you can get response in that format. The other uh, cool ability is that once you get that response back, you can actually ask Bard to read these responses out loud, which is basically text to speech capability that Bard now has. Now, Google's greatest advantage with Bard is that it has a great ecosystem of solutions that it has built over the years that it's now slowly bringing into Bard. Now, just the ability to have text to speech is great. Not just the fact that text to speech is great, it's really good in the way it kind of produces results. All right, so that was all that I had to share in this video. If you liked what I've shared, please subscribe to my baby channel and support me. Until I see you again, stay true, stay consistent.